Welcome back to Fate, Rise of Madness. Session 30, Questions and Answers. The group just finished defeating all of the eight gargoyles. All the baddies. All the baddies. <coughs> They've collected eight different gems of different colors. And now, um, you hear in a booming voice that's a little deeper than she sounded before. What's my name? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. If you'll flip the uh, hourglass. Uh-oh. Damn it. Why, why, wait, why are we doing this? It's a timed. It's why? Just, why? It's just happening. Because why? something's right. going to happen. But I want to know why. Well, you don't know yet. Well, we don't want to find Let's out go. why. Um, I'm just going to start reading what I can. Of the walls? On um, the walls. Call. Do the colors coordinate with the gems at all, or are there colors on there the There are colors that match up with the gems, yes. Okay. What kind of where? What kind of stuff on is walls. written like, on these walls? The words? Uh, it's just... It's very... It's kind of gibberishy. It's a little hard to read, because they're all kind of overlapping. <clears throat> and uh, it is a little gibberishy. Um, you can understand all languages. Yeah, right? it's comprehend languages. I can understand anything written, including give me, a cipher. Give me an investigation check. <coughs> mm-hmm. Faster! Uh, fuck, uh, 14. 14 not bad. <laughs> uh, he was, like, taking 15 years old. You, you see begin that? to read, and right in front of where the Sphinx is, there are, it's, like, separated from... Everything else? Yeah, it's not, like... It's, like, framed. It's kind it's of framed. Instead of just there being There are words. specific <clears throat> strings of text okay. in different languages. Yeah. Um, <coughs> and when you read it, it reads basically uh, it, it, like it's each of the different schools of magic. So, like, associated with each color. And it is in, right. So it's in a, some kind of order. So it, 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 they're actually in alphabetical order. So abjuration is blue, conjuration is green, divination is yellow, um, enchantment is white, evocation is red, illusion is Shall orange. we place those gems there? Necromancy is black and transmutation is purple. Okay. Is there a certain order? Is there a place to put the yeah, gems? Black with there black. are no slots oh. that would fit a gem. No. Is can mm-hmm. I press like the first one up to the first one? Like hold it. Is like, it in order to how they came you out can, of the actually like it? So I push the gem up out of the gargoyles. So, so the first one, mm-hmm. what was that? Uh, the blue oh. one, which is abjuration. So the abjuration has one. that one right now. So Mal, and you push the blue one up to it. I'll do it if you don't okay. want to. Hold the blue up to yeah. the words. So I can yeah. do that. So I'll to where. The when, <coughs> when, when you hold the, the blue gem up against the uh, abjuration the abjuration text, that text begins to glow. Mm-hmm. But only when you see it through the gem. Okay, so let's look through so the gem. So does it read differently? No, it just has abjuration. It just says the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Look at the elements. Now, the, uh, look, can oh, I yeah. look around the rest of the room then, real quick? Through like the just, gem? Just take a glance around the room for the gem. Okay. Um, Anything catch my attention? So. She's on the, underneath the table. Okay. Yeah. What's the She's just being squeaky. Uh, yes, you sure can. Um, when you look through the gem <coughs> around, uh-huh. all of the text that's written on the walls becomes no text. You can't see any text other than where it says abjuration on the wall in front of the Sphinx. And there seems to be a, a slight blue aura around the water space. Go, to there. So, go over there. So go over that spot. With what, the blue gem. Yeah, and what what's that aura? Hold it up to it. Where is it at? Like so it's just kind of like in the space. Okay, so the space looks like... Can I just have the gem over there and... Let's mm-hmm. try and get all the gems to the space that matches up with their aura. Yeah. Okay. So if you, I, as you, you kind of grab each gem and look around, and okay. I'm guessing anyone can see this gotcha. through them. Just like looking through them. And... So, okay, that's absolutely something <laughs> that <laughs> that you can do for brevity purposes. You find that the blue and green gem are, which is abjuration and conjuration, are <coughs> uh, the sort of glow is around the water. Okay. Space. So in that corner. Um, 
the yellow, which is divination. Uh huh. And uh, the red, which is evocation, is by the earth space. Called. <coughs> okay. mm -hmm. The black, which is necromancy, and the purple, which is transmutation, are by the wind, the okay. air space. And then illusion, which is orange, and enchantment, which is white, is by the fire space. Okay. Yeah. Um, are there any places so... to put the gems? Mm-mm. You set them, <coughs> them where the gargoyles were. That's probably where they were sitting in the first place. Okay, yeah. Um mm. If I just if we just set each gem in their respective kind of spots, like where the gargoyles are. There standing? are no like slots over there that so would. If each of them are sitting on the floor in those spots, does that do anything? Do anything? Nope. Um, Can you put it in the in the thing in the elemental? Is there anything that, that can go in? Yeah, I'll, I'll try putting. Let's start with not fire. <laughs> so so you reach your hand with. The respective, people. yeah, we'll say the Air, uh, maybe? start with the divination one. Start with the divination one, Over which on is the earth. on the earth one, okay. And it seems to just be like swirling sand, yep, right? swirling sand and gravel. And so you reach your hand in with that, and there's kind of a ripple effect, and your hand just goes through. <coughs> there's no damage, yeah, anything. it just goes through, yeah, and it, uh, that's it. And then, and then when you pull out, it's just. The same, the same thing. Yeah. Can I stick my head into that one now? Mm -hmm. oh, What's Jesus on God. the other when side? You, when you stick your head into it, um, you see a lot of <coughs> swirling letters in a sort of void type space. Oh, God. Uh, uh, there's not... I mean, they seem to be of varying sizes and colors and stuff. Can I hold on to the other one for this one? It was Divination and... Uh, what one other? What was the other one for this corner? Uh, it would be so. divination and evocation. All right, so I'm gonna hold on to both of these, and I'm gonna jump in. Uh, to the all the way. I'll, I'll go ahead and cast fly on myself just in case. Okay. But I want to fly in. Uh, okay, so you so you fly in, and and can I read or copy anything or see anything looking the through stop? the gems or manipulate okay. reality <clears throat> around me? In so any way, shape, when, when you look through the gems, specific letters stand out. Yeah. For divination, it is. Yeah. They are. A. Evocation. Er. It is. T. A. Mm -hmm. Okay. And oh. then I jump out and like, hey. Blah. Grab that gem and grab that gem and jump <laughs> in there. Run to the water corner. Grab that gem and jump Do the in same there. thing. Okay. Uh, Which one are you going to next? I'll go to the water corner. Water corner next. Okay. That is abjuration and conjuration. All right. I'll, I'll just jump in unless someone else wants to. Yeah, and by the way, you don't seem to have any issue, like... With the water with going in or, or anything. Like it, it doesn't seem to, like, pull... No it's not like the plane of the no. water element. No. Thing. no, no, no. Okay, go in and look and observe. So you can observe. breathe in there. Abjuration and conjuration. So mm -hmm. Kind of look around. people. Take a find more mental notes. Letters. Zith. R, T, A, and Z... Th. Uh, Keep them together. All right, and then them. I will run to the fire corner. Okay. Fire corner, and again, it's really scary to put like just, just walk into the just fire, jump into the fire. But I'm not it that doesn't scared seem of to it. Har to harm you in any way. Yeah, I'm not that scared of it. Um, this is illusion and enchantment. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> More letters. All right, and then all right, guys. One more. We run over to the air elemental. That's the got the transmutation and, and necromancy. Necromancy, the black one. Mm -hmm. All right, and then I jump through there. Get the last. Oh God. Sets of letters. So. Z oh God, there's like there's so many weird fantasy names I could make from those. Yes, guys. Yes, uh, there are. <laughs> there's two different TAs. What about, what about the order that the gems were? The order that the... the oh, the order over here. So, uh, on this wall... They are in... It's alphabetical. Oh. 
So, right. so abjuration, abjuration, conjuration, divination, enchantment, Z-I. invocation, illusion, Z-I. and necromancy, and then Z I T H C D divination A R U N T A uh yeah, you've been making a good time i yeah, and t so m a n a t a <coughs> wow zitharon tamanata zitharon tamanata fort knocker zitharon tamanata manata zitharon tamanata that's Z- your name. <laughs> Zithara Manata Anta. <laughs> Zitharunta Manata. Zitharunta no. Manata. I was damn close with my pronunciation. <laughs> you can stop the timer or whatever. Just well, we had half time left. We know we your name. It. Excellent. And did it. Good job. Yeah, Let's just leave it like that. Yeah, it's halfway yeah. through. Ha-ha. That we just can get on the Take other side that. now. Yep. <laughs> I've done well. Beautiful name. Wow. Well, that's. <laughs> It's quite a beautiful Rolls name. What's right your nickname? <laughs> Z? Z? If you wish, you may call me Z. All right, that's what we're going to do. Z. <laughs> now, as you have answered my question, it is only fair that I answer yours. Gosh, that's a long name. <laughs> See if they're going to <laughs> Uh, um. Yes, it's a long, crazy name. Um, <laughs> it's fun to say. How did you come hat. up with that name? I just made. I just made it up. Strung letters together. <laughs> he was like, "How many M A N A T A S?" We had to have this many. Oh, so yeah. Matata is what I'm trying right. to get to. The only way to make a, a really sort of functional, like, fantasy-ish name with two letters at a time is to have at least one of them for the most part be a vowel of some kind yeah every uh, single one a couple so th's it flows pretty well mm-hmm. i think <coughs> uh, I like it. so who would like to start now again this uh, can do we know what our question is supposed to be <laughs> can we get more than one question can i pray to the mal gods about it what question should i ask Here's my first question. Lead I don't know. <laughs> That's my question. Ones. My question is, what question should I ask? <laughs> yes. So well, you well, should have asked. This particular, of course you would know this, um, uh, this particular Sphinx has some access to Abin. So, and I have a question. Okay. So, with the Sphinx answering questions, right? Mm-hmm. Does she have any other abilities to where she can, like, show us, like, a snippet instead of answering? Like, can... can... So, uh, kind of generalized lore for the official world of the gynosphinx. Um, the androsphinx and a gynosphinx, that's the male and the female, and then there's a bunch of others that are, like, animal forms, like with a bird head or with a goat head or mm-hmm. other things. But the... Human-looking ones are usually divine, placed here to guard a specific secret, but they also are omniscient, omnipotent, omnipotent in that they have a divine sight and they can see through time and space. Mm -hmm. So they know things ancient and they know things to come and they understand how... It's wibbly wobbly timey wimey, not necessarily a set in concrete, Mm -hmm. but they. Doctor Who reference of the day. With respects to secrets of the past, they almost always know a exactly what happened, or b exactly who knows what happened. Yes. Uh, it's they they are the historians uh, of the so gods. So they're they're, they're so. hiding a secret though. They're like the keeper of one thing. Not necessarily. Are they so, limited to? If, is are we limited to one question? Yes. Just one. You have one question. And. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. and you each have a question. I, I might mention. Yeah, this one no is. Yo, Corvus, what do we ask? Residing deep under Sartek City, and 
Oh, it has a light. Like everything. Uh, I'm actually setting up your character names so I can write the question you ask for my own notes. And get a full, stuff. proper answer. If, if I don't yeah. have it offhand, yeah. I, I will definitely provide it by next session. Or I mean, we'll, It depends on what your question is. And it can be like simple or complex. I mean, <coughs> I think I'll start with um, because I I know we have a clear and present threat. Mm-hmm. Uh, with witnessing everything that happened to uh, Kane in very recent time, uh, where would we be best fitting to strike to quell the cult of madness? At the head of the snake versus the body. Oh, you're trying to find out who, like who's the leader of yeah. the cult of man. Who's the true leader of the cult of man? And that's a, a nice good question. question. That's yeah. a great question. Good that's call. a very good question. Well, there we go. Something right. <laughs> who is the leader of what, where where do we need to strike to attack the snake at the head? I see. Like I don't want to necessarily know who the leader is, but I want to know where we need to be to strike it at its head. Uh, to strike the cult. Uh, madness. And now, that usually would involve striking the leader, but... It's... Maybe not. Yeah. Oh, that's a freaking great question. That was a really good, specific question. Um, okay. Problem, guys. Job Corvus, for once. <laughs> you don't have to answer that tonight at all. That's fine. Um... No, I uh, you think you know. I think I actually know where that's going to end up. Being. Where we need to go <laughs> in the immediate future. Let me think here. So it's not the end of the ancients. I know that much. Yeah, that's just where like Domikos and his yeah, that's kind of what staging I, area. It's exactly what I was ex- expecting. And can we hear the answer too? Like me? Yes. Oh yeah, no, yeah. I said this out loud. Yeah, and she I... she speaks out loud. What do I want the answer to that to be? Um, Great question. Where do you want to set up a fight for? <laughs> okay. Mm, there's just a couple of different ways that this could be answered to. Tricky. Trixie, Trixie. All right, let me think about this in a little bit, and we'll get uh, some other questions as well. Uh, I will definitely answer that question. Cool. Um, You might want to ask about how to best infiltrate the sickle. Right. Is that still a thing? Okay. Yeah, that is still a thing. Mm-hmm. What is it? What was? The it's question? kind of on the back burner. So there's an unofficial thieves guild that she's a part of, and uh, are we going to be doing that? The sickle. Yeah. Yes. Oh, and okay. uh, she doesn't know this part, but Kane has been assigned to assassinate the leader. But what she does know is that he wants to help her infiltrate and destroy this group. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's, that's a good question. I ask what. Uh, What's the best it? way to uh, infiltrate the sickle? Infiltrate and dismantle the entire sickle organization. Yeah. Dismantle the and gain their riches. <laughs> okay. And gain their riches. <laughs> that's, no, they're not gain their riches. I think great, that's great, 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 great. And gain their riches. Uh, okay. <laughs> that's really important to my character. Well, but. if you manage to dismantle the organization, it will likely involve taking their riches. Good. That's uh, uh, important. Because that's a big thing, yeah. Okay, great. Krishna. Uh, I don't know What's what be your question? you have for story. My question is, what... Do you believe in life after love? How vague or specific... <laughs> do you believe? What? How vague or specific do we have to be? Does it... <coughs> Lay it on me. Anything. She, okay. she, she mentioned before that if it's a question she can't answer... She'll tell you. She'll tell you, and you get to choose a different question. Yeah, it's not, you can ask it's not like, oh, that, you just leave your question. Oh, okay. So you can be very specific, you can be vague. What 
action could I take to hit the slave trade the hardest? Mmm. Okay. Aw, noble. That's probably yeah, that's, that's, that's your story. Yeah. 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 It's, it's got a good roots in it. Yeah. Yeah. There's greed involved, but there's good roots. Yeah. His is like pure that. good at heart. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like that. It's very good. I think I actually have an answer for that one. He's always but going into battle we'll saying, fuck you, and he's like, I want to help It's going to involve Becky somehow. Okay. But I don't know what I want to ask. I don't want to know. I want to, I don't know if I want to ask, will he remember me? That's a good question. Or if I want to see, see what his, he looks like now. Or where he is. Yeah. And where he is, like a surrounding area. Yeah, where, where he with is. a like clue a, to where he is. Yeah, like an, I don't know which one I want to ask. What, what do you guys or like think? like a fast forward. Or should there be the something different that I should hours. ask? Should I ask something... Different. Well, I feel like you should ask something related to your backstory. Yeah. That's yeah. what this for is sure. for. Okay. For sure. uh, Which one would be best, though? Do I want to know if he's going to remember me? Or do I, I want to know... Where do I go to find him? I think finding him would be... Memories are a finicky thing. So find him. You can ask, like, what... What is his destiny? You could ask what his destiny is. Is he meant to be found you, by I you? I mean, it's a big question, but or, you can ask it. That's a big ass question. That is a big question. Um, you can ask. What is your name? Like, <coughs> you know, why is he of the silver hair? But that would also tie into the destiny. It would tie into the destiny. Like, you can ask things like that too. Okay, so destiny or. Mm-hmm. What what do you think Harriet would be the most interested in knowing? His mom about Mechie's His well being, I would think. But then also so, that destiny one is pretty good too because that's also going to tie into his well being. Yeah, that, that ties into it. everything. Yeah, that's yeah. true. So let's that go with that good. one. Yeah. Okay. It's all encompassing. I guess. Okay. I want to ask like five questions, but what is? I feel like that <laughs> you get all one, them. so get a big, broad, general one. What is Whoa. the destiny? Rain. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty good. Ooh. Of my son. It's a good question. It's a very good question. And I have a few ideas. Okay. And will it include me in his life? Can can that be tied together or is that two questions? Um, is it one sentence? So does that count? <laughs> we can say what is the destiny between my son and I? No. I want to know what his... Conjunction, conjunction. What's your yeah. function? Okay, is, is that allowed? Okay, hang on. So what is the destiny of my son, Mackie, and... Call my aunt. Will it... <laughs> Involve. Involve. I'll take that. That's okay. Okay. So, some good questions for you. Let's see. Yes, I love these questions. These are great questions. Okay. Good. What action can I take to hit the slave trade the hardest? We'll start with that. (coughs) That one's probably going to be the easiest uh, to answer. In, let's see, where's this going to be? Where do I want this to be? On this continent, or? I'm kind of thinking it's going to be somewhere else. The Australian continent, or the Asian continent? In the southern continent. The one that's like Australia. <laughs> it's much bigger. But yeah, yeah, yeah. well, like, in reference to how the continents are around the planet, it's kind of over, yeah. around, and down. From us and... Sartak City, because Sartak City is the center of the world. Kind of like America. Yeah. <laughs> so that, so okay. The continent you're on is called Pyderon, by the way. Mm-hmm. Pyderon? P Y D E R O N. That's the one you're on now. That's where Sartak City and Elena Karnov stuff is. Um, Our one, adventure so far. Yes. The one that she's going to mention is called Chagaus, which is C H A G A U S. C H A S. G A U S. G A U S. Okay, I need to grab that actually because I don't know every city name in my head. 
Did they pick one on there? I don't remember. I thought my chewing wasn't terribly loud. I guess I'll find out when I watch our stream later. <laughs> no, it'll be uh, mukbang ASMR. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. For those in the know, that's what that's called. <clears throat> I never really, I, I don't particular, particularly enjoy that kind of ASMR myself, but <laughs> uh, to each their own. Is that that continent? Yes. Or that this island? Is that continent, yes. It's, I mean, that's an island, but But it's so basically a continent. Yeah. It's big. Yeah. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. This is going to be in... Ooh. Okay. It's going to be great. I like that. In the city of... There's a city called Shuth. S-H-U-T-H. Uh, north of... Claws of the Gods. Let me kind of show you guys on the map here. So this is the southern continent right here. Right? You would have relatively regular access to this to these kind of maps. The Claws of the Gods right here are three gashes <coughs> in the ground. Like huge, dashes. huge, deep chasms that, yeah. like something. It's like there's regular grass. Something just like ripped out huge, deep. Like regular right. lands and just giant deep chasm. Yes. Space giant. Well, deep north chasm. of it is the is the city of Shuth. Shuth. Shuth, baby Shuth. <laughs> there is an enclave of beholders. Oh boy. God, the enclave. That. Uh, oh, okay. What was that? Yeah. Mountain Dew Mountain Dew Ice. That's terrifying. Mountain Dew Ice. <coughs> beholders. An enclave of beholders. Beholders that secretly run most of the slave trade. The drop really Across our top. By the it's way, lower calorie. It and contains one percent juice. And it actually has know. juice in it. That news, by the way, is is insane. I was just, I was say that's like nobody, not even nobody the guild knows. knows about that. No. You go. should probably help. Do we all out. hear yeah. the? Yeah, answers? we do. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, I didn't write yeah. this down, so. <coughs> I have. <it. coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. Okay. Can you steal money from the slaves? Then I might be from interested. The slaves? <laughs> the slave traders. No, I guess in Oh, theory. the traders. Yeah, we could. Yeah. They're bad guys, right? Yeah, no, they <laughs> secretly run the slave trade, so. <clears throat> Maybe I'm a little more interested now. <laughs> yeah, that's. On. He wasn't. Oh, okay. um, what did I ask? You asked, what is the best way to dismantle a sickle organization? Yeah. Um, which dismantle is... and destroy the sickle. Yeah. Is it going to be killing each of the leaders? Essentially. Each and every uh, one? Yes. So. <clears throat> By destroying. I guess that should have stated in how. By destroying the generals. That's I what you said. I was writing my question. It'll unravel. We'll say that. It'll yeah. Unravel. Because uh, of the nature of its structure. Yeah. What do I got to do to do that? <clears throat> By destroying the generals and the leader. And you actually know of at least one of the generals. Yeah. Well, 
which I have written. I somewhere. guess my aim was that to know how to do it, but um, so can, yeah. I mean, that's, can that's, any of the names yeah. be given? I feel like I already knew that answer. Yeah. Um, that was the question. Though. What was the best way to dismantle it? Okay. Thanks for the crap question. No, I mean it's it's like you because you have you already have one of the general's names. You know that much. Yeah. Somewhere. Uh, and from that you can <clears throat> glean the rest of the general's. That's not a good question. Damn. Kind of go from there. It's okay. It's Damn, not, it's, it, it wasn't a bad question. I mean, I really don't know what else I would ask. Probably about that red dragon that I dated. That's or the silver <laughs> dragon that you or dated. Or was he silver? Yeah. Sorry. <clears throat> Get him off. <laughs> Corvus yours would be the next easiest to answer I'll save Harriet's for last because that's a bit of a Mess. big question <laughs> um, where do we need to strike the cult of madness in its head and she starts by saying the true head is the god of madness of the cult of madness is Kalek K-A-L-A-K. God of madness. Chaos. <clears throat> but we knew that much. You he did. Knew that much? I didn't know that. True. Uh, non God. This is kind of crazy because you're getting the big bad evil guy uh, pretty early on. So that's fun. <laughs> um, I don't even know if I gave give him a name yet. Name yet. Voldemort. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's the worst name in the world. Voldemort. <laughs> you shall not be named. Exactly. No, uh, the Sphinx would have no problem saying this dude's name or person, whatever this person's name. I don't know. Do you know what kind of class he is or all that stuff, too? Or I uh, have some ideas, but I haven't, you haven't nailed it down. Well, you don't have to nail that down yet. I yeah, just, I'll just um, put is, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> is, insert DM answer. That's what I'm going to put on my sheet. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me... Uh, okay, I'm going to consider that one a little bit. Yeah. Um, it's fine. I mean, that's... are important. That's, a, that's an end-game question. That is an end-game question. <laughs> <coughs> I, I do think that, you know, because you did what she wanted to do, that you do get the question answered. Uh, I just need to just kind of suss out what, the answer what might I be. want that to be. And then Harriet, what is the destiny of my thumb necky, and will it involve me? <coughs> <coughs> Destiny of Mechie mm -hmm. will without fail it involve you. It will. His feet. Come here, Toots. Toots. Hey, come here. Hey, Toots. Tootsie. Hey, hey Tootsie, Tootsie, come here. Hey, Toots. Toots. Hey, Toots. Hey. Come on. Nope. Oh, this is a good, this is a good, okay. She's straight up ignoring you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> she does that. What his destiny will be. I'm not good enough. Depends on the destiny of you and one two other. Two things. When <coughs> you find him, and we well, you know. What's the other thing? What could be the other thing? Uh, Who you find him with, or I don't know. Oh, this is a fun thing. Okay, depends on two things. When you find him, and whether or not. Aaron Silverstream is, is, is still alive. That's 
you need to kill, isn't it? You need to straight up kill him. You just need to murder his face. I want to murder you his face. You have a blood packed on him now. He just needs to die. Like, her eyes just feel like rage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, seeing someone's true destiny through time hey. is really... Uh, Broken? Difficult. Oh, yeah. Especially given the fact that... Anything can happen. You know, small choices Touch. change the course of what happens to you, right? Mm-hmm. You know, turning left versus turning right doesn't sound like a big deal, but it can. But it's not okay. But a big thing. ten years later... Yeah, exactly. So, that is... It's a little vague. Of course, it was kind of a big question. But... But it gave you the definitive answer. It gave you I need to kill Arwen. some definitive uh, uh, answer. Uh, Ar- Arwen. Arwen. Silver string. Yeah. Your douchebag husband? <coughs> Technically? Technically. <coughs> yeah. She needs to start watching the ID channel. <laughs> 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 or snapped. <laughs> that is what you get for that. Cool. cool. Very good. We got some good info. We did. One burner question, no well, but... Uh, no, I mean, that is... Because you didn't know, realistically, because... You know, we didn't know definitively if dismantling... Let me, uh, let me adjust this a little bit. Let's say by quickly destroying. Because if you wait too long... Yeah. Quickly destroying then... what? For the sickle, oh. the having the, the that sickle. network of generals, if you'd wait too long, we'll knock you one off, it'll get replaced. But if we knock off like four at once, yeah. that will if really you, be hard to fix. If you take them out very quickly, <clears throat> before they can replace them with people of equivalent stature and power... That have then, the networking that they yeah, the others then, before. Then that, that sort of power vacuum will just... Explode, that would be yeah. chaos, yeah. Destroying the city. Especially in a group like that, if it has that yeah. pyramid structure, mm-hmm. it'll fall apart rapidly. Yeah, so. Hey, Sarah. Yo. So, a key detail Gerald added to that. Um, the key to dismantling them is to take out multiple generals in rapid succession. Yeah. As per any pyramid scheme, would be if we took out three or four. All the networking that those single points had is going to be a lot bigger power vacuum than if one were to disappear. I keep breaking this pencil. It's a thin one. In rapid succession, I added to yeah. my note. Yes, that is, an, that, that is a very important key piece. Because, you know, if you find one... And then wait a month and, and find another, wait and wait a month, month and find another one, then they'll just keep replacing them. Right. So basically, what it kind of boils down to... Is you have to find out where they all are before they you go after them. Uh, yeah, well, they get it. It's very unlikely that an organization like the Sickle has group meetings of the higher ups, just because it's dangerous to do that because of what we would people do. like you yeah. that <laughs> can just kind of go in and, and take them all out. <coughs> all right. Okie dokie. Um, Let's do this. Um, The true leader is insert something. I will get that. DM's note. (laughs) Yeah. I will get insert uh, something. I don't don't own. Italicized parentheses something. Just yet, yeah. Yeah, I would put just in the italicized parentheses the word something. Yeah. <laughs> Additionally. Okay. Additionally. You will soon be visited by these people. Creatures of power. Mm-hmm. Seeking your so what I'm looking for here. Uh, my boon? My shield? Boon? 
perhaps? I don't know. Uh, I would consider my no, shield as pass. my pact and my boon. That has to be worded differently. Um, uh, oh, okay. <coughs> I have a better idea here. <clears throat> Your <clears throat> group, Corvus. Not, not that you're the leader per se, but like yeah, but the group, the that group I'm with, will have a greater effect on the fate of the realms than you can possibly know. We are the Forgers of Destiny. <clears throat> not, like, not the chosen ones, per se, but it's pretty much what pretty it's the same. Um, you will be visited by powerful entities. Both good and bad. Yes. Damn it. <laughs> Both good. Seeking your vote, I suppose. Our uh, favor. Favor. That's a good one. Favor is good. Seeking your favor. The choices. The choices you make. Choices you make. Beings you choose may dismantle the cult of madness. Oh. So some people mm -hmm. approach us may be able to dismantle the cult of madness for us. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's cool. Some people, there, some powerful entities will visit us in the future, oh, really? seeking our favor. You just write that down. Uh, and um, some of them, if we figure out who, will probably be able to dismantle the cult of madness for us. Cool. Indeed. That's <coughs> so what he just said. Cool. Did you write it down? Nope. I have it written down here. I say you have typed it out. Our full answers written out. I do. Maybe once you discern everything to fully on that, you print it out so that one of us can just have that in our notebooks. Yeah, sure. Corvus can have it. Corvus would have written it down in his. I feel like he would definitely be the note taker of the group. Yeah, considering Since he's he doesn't do shit else. He. Uh, Grew up his entire <laughs> life in a library. Sorry, almost. she doesn't like you. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, Calm right. down now. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm clumsy. I'm loud and clanky. Like you yeah. don't heal our party. You are very antithetical to the stealthy road. Yeah, I'm <laughs> for sure. She doesn't like you. And you're a bird. Cats eat birds. <laughs> <laughs> He's a small bird. He's not like a big humanoid bird like Bob is. So you have lots of fun information. To play yeah. With. And um, definitely want to run into a penumbra soon. Yeah. That's what I was looking for. Some of that can be relayed. Uh, I don't know. They're not going to just take care of your problems. Before. No, but I feel like but, the uh, <laughs> but, head of the guild should know about the enclave of the <laughs> holders. That are running the slave trade? Yeah. <laughs> they probably don't know about that. Uh, just guessing. Fair. They probably wouldn't. It would be a big surprise to the beholders. Like, wait, you guys know this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'll well, put them out. There's a cat lady. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, any time that we're like hanging around in towns and shit, and there's essentially downtime, Krishna's going to be like researching beholders how to effectively kill them and not get killed. I would say that you already know a little bit about beholders. Number one, beholders do not usually work together because they're very evil, chaotic evil. 
there's a in that lore yeah. video there was a specific type of beholder that can generally get others to work with him yeah and how that works is usually he created all of them yeah. well that's certainly an interesting theory well part of the lore explained how yeah uh how they are a purely magical entity and they reproduce through when they have a dream about mm -hmm. another beholder or about something happening to them. Yeah. They have weird dreams and those dreams create things. Like become beholders. That's wild. It's super weird. And then the They're other thing from is the far realm, uh, which is like the realm beyond space kind of a thing. Like outside of uh, the dimensions. They're just and crazy. the other thing is their looks they're are never the same. Uh, yeah. Like no two beholders will always different colors or have look different. Weird... Tangle as a like they could have scales or boils or skin or uh, rock. Like good skin. They could have anything as their surface. They could be shaped different things. It's going to be an eye with a big gnarly mouth and other eyes sticking out. Yeah. But There's... the shape could be different things. And every one okay. of them is extremely narcissistic. B do, do, believes do, 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 to do, do, the do, do, truest of their extent they, in, they are the perfect form mm -hmm. and fiercely hates most other beholders because of that because this they're so imperfect who's a beholder that's one looks like a tangler that other one looks like a tentacle this is an undead beholder <laughs> yeah <laughs> the undead ones are scary it doesn't have tentacle eye stalks just little glowing dots they both are pokemon to me and if they <laughs> dream about losing a battle they can turn into the undead yeah. one if you guys Gengar. don't think that D, D is pervasive in like everything you ever played doom oh yeah that. that's straight up a doom it's straight up main, one of those gross doom it's one of the main monsters it does look like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's one of the main monsters. Straight up. Yeah, Behold, the Beholder's a classic. I've seen or a yeah. couple of Pokemon. Yeah. It looks like a couple of Pokemon. Did anybody notice the Pokemon? They are <coughs> very difficult <Just> me. <laughs> yeah, they're on very, their own. Very hard to fight. To have an enclave of them. It's terrifying. It's very terrifying. Um, an enclave. <laughs> That's why they haven't been defeated before. That's why they've been doing this for so long. Well, surely they're not always all together. They're probably not far apart. They have a layer. And layers have layer actions. I need new bags. Yes, they do. Okay. I have a lot Perfect. to think about, uh, which would be great. By the way, after the questions are answered, you all sort of return to your... Uh, we wake up that morning, probably. Wake up in the morning. Feeling <laughs> off at Corvus. Feeling refreshed. <coughs> um, doesn't seem like any... No wounds. Uh, the damage that was taken during the dream so mad. <laughs> was residual in real life. So, uh, do we remember our dream? You do vividly, so very vividly. Yeah, pissed then. <clears throat> if I pull up in my literal journal, does it have stuff scribbled on it from my sure. dream? Yeah, cool. it not? happened. We need That's that info. Fine. Yeah. That yep. works for me. So I mean, if it didn't, I could have written it down then. That's when you woke up. Filled in with an intelligence of nineteen, that would not have been a problem. No, <laughs> not at all. Not at all. Now, typically, we would keep going, but that would be getting into the forest itself. Uh, we'll leave. We we're going to end this a little bit early, mm -hmm. uh, just because half of us aren't know, here. Half of us are here, or not here, rather. So we're just going to kind of run with it. Um, cool. We're ended here with this. You get into the forest, and I'll reiterate this next cool. session when more of us are here. Uh, but you get into the forest north of Sartak City, and you're making your way toward the hinge. <laughs> oh yeah, making your way toward the hinge of the ancients. Right to where. <laughs> Where they were recruiting yeah. for yeah. those Cult of Madness. Right. Where the Cult of Madness <laughs> is having the sort of recruitment meeting. And before you get anywhere close to that, about a day into the forest, you begin to hear, other than the sort of normal... Let me back up a little bit. This forest is unlike any forest you've ever been in before. The trees seem to be <coughs> larger... Uh, 
and you can see through, like on the trees themselves, there are uh, lightly glowing green veins that run all up the trees. And the creatures that you see in this forest forest are also larger. So mm. could you? You'll, you'll see like it a, is all Could you tell me what part of the map this is? We're yeah. on the main Pideron, right? Yeah, I'll show you. Uh, I'm kind of thingy. Yeah. Is this that weird forest? Mm, no, 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 no. <coughs> yeah, of course so. It's this forest. That's not very nice. Okay. To say. Well, I, I know that because that one down there had like really crazy shit happening in last game. Yes, campaign. that one does. Uh, but it's a little bit different than this. Yeah, one. no, it's this is not the this craziness. This is more kind of overgrowth. Overgrowth, <clears throat> nature, uh, power. The further in you get in the outskirts of the forest, the more present it is as far as how the more magical the forest is. Bigger. Yeah, uh, especially the closer you get to the hand of the ancients. That seems to be a major source. It does. Of uh, Harriet, know anything about magic. this? Maybe. Uh, we'll we'll, we'll have to see, but like you see, ancients, um, and it's you possible see, like, I... a dog-sized squirrel, like big, <coughs> big creatures. Yeah, it, it's not like malevolent or anything. Yeah, but we also notice that it too has a bit of the sort of technosy glowing green veininess but it's like nat um, nature it, technos looking yes uh have you ever played um sacred or sacred 2 yes sacred 2 um <laughs> some of the creatures that you see around that's fun like, as hell you would love that game the little power source things that have the veiny like the glowy veininess it's kind of like that um, um sacred 2 side note um the music is done by blind guardian there you have oh. a concert yep. in game. That's part a concert of the quest. <laughs> yeah. That's it's really quest cool. quest of its own. You like go to the concert. It's really cool. That's really cool. It's an early very, very cool concert. stuff. Um, I'm kind of sad they didn't do more. Uh, you would really like that game. And well, Blind Guardian is one of my favorite bands. That game is like huge. Hmm. It's a metal the game. game. The game takes too long to play. Yeah. There's too much. And it's, it's gorgeous, kind of though. It's freaking beautiful. Yeah, anyway, um, you hear a bit of stomping. Yeah, I think I played it on uh, Xbox. That is yeah. different than anything you had heard before. It's a place like and Diablo. You come upon a... It's fun. You come upon the outskirts of a clearing in this space. And it's a stark contrast to anything that you had seen before in this forest. But... You notice that a lot of the trees in this clearing, this didn't, this wasn't a clearing that long ago. Um, trees have been cut down, roots have been pulled out, and there, the stomping you hear is a fire giant, Ooh. a big one. Mm -hmm. um, now, fire giants are normally about. 25, 25 30 feet tall. Yeah. Um, this one's a little, it's not a, a lot taller than that, but it's definitely noticeably bigger than your normal fire giant. I'd say it's more like 35 ish feet tall. It's stopping around off to the side of it, and it just seems to be stopping around in circles, like it's flattening the ground around where it is. Um, off to the side, on the other side of the clearing, as you are kind of looking through, there's a cage, a big cage, that is housing what looks to be just a gigantic insect, like a big reptilian insect thing. It has lots of legs, uh, constantly kind of like biting at the bars and pushing on the bars and it's not getting through. These are reasonably powerful bars. And then sitting next to the cage is <coughs> what looks to be a very intelligent looking snake thing. 
snake is neck. It's a large Anagi looking one tie. We're uh, actually it snake. Is a naga. Snake it is, is naga. Snake is neck. So just the head. So it's a uh, snake person. Kind, not really, but kind of. Yeah. It it's it's face is it's got like some kind snake. of weird fusion between a, a human and snake. And snake. And has um, a, a chest, but then like snake body. Uh, and scales. Well, usually they have arms, that's right? A, that's a yuan ti. Yeah, oh, yuan ti. Okay, yeah. this is a naga. So this is a naga. This is just a snake thing. Yeah, just a snake with a person has, like this. Yeah. And it appears to be talking to the fire giant. Uh, that sounds hideous. In a language that... What languages... I mean, we'll, we'll get to that fully. Parcel next turn. turn. Next <laughs> session. But what languages do you guys speak? I know that you can understand, like... You can read. <coughs> I can read and, anything and, and understand. Comprehend spoken languages. You just can't speak it. Yeah, you can understand. I can it, understand, but, it, but I can't speak it. Mao and thieves can't. And common. common. <laughs> yeah. So no. Do you speak? What do you speak independently of that spell? I. Well, I'm guessing avian, common, common. Uh, and I don't think. Did you figure all that out yet? Hold on. No, I, I think it did. It's on this one. Uh, Celestial Gnomish, Avian okay. and Common. Okay. If you're well, Acolyte, I get to add two more. So Celestial and Gnomish yeah. are added. Two very natural ones for my character. Gotcha. That makes sense to me. Um, you don't... I don't understand it first, understand but yeah. then I'm like, let me turn this on. And then we'll kind of get to that next session. So. Uh, can I... Or... Maybe kind of talking with Harriet or uh, Quetzal, try to discern if what's going on with these trees is like natural to this area or if something weird is happening that's... Yeah. Like try to get a get an idea or a clue. Well, mm -hmm. Quetzal know. Quetzal's really smart. He's trained in Arcana. And, he and he's trained oh, in magic. Right, right. intelligent. Um, you can give me an arcana check, and Harriet, if you want to give me a nature check. Mm -hmm. Nature check? Mm-hmm. Do you need a d20? Arcana. Just put on your dice up. Nature. It's the same either way for me. I got 11. Okay. 11 total? 11 yeah. plus something, right? No, 8 oh. plus 3. 8 plus 3. And I have a plus 4. Uh, 8. Eight total. Okay. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. So, here, yeah. <coughs> you would know a little bit about this area, given your rangerness. Mm -hmm. um, this area seems to have, and it, part of it's just visually evident, but it has an influx of life technos like more than normal which is why the animals and the plants and stuff glow a little bit okay um, and that's why they're all bigger a little bit bigger than normal now why that is you don't really know but you and know that what's happening isn't something that is inherently uh, it's unnatural but it's not inherently it's, bad or It's good. not bad, right? Like, like it's not, you know, siphoning the life of everything around it or anything like that. It's actually giving additional life um, and more growth but to the forest. Corvus would recognize that as one of those key things that the Cult of Madness is trying to do, right? Yes. Yeah. You would definitely recognize that <coughs> as this, this is the something place that where that is barrier is going to be. It's very heavy with tech. So that barrier would be easier to break through for yeah. Mr. Uh, Kalik, or whatever his name was. <laughs> yes. Yes, indeed. Mr. Kalik. Yeah. No. And it seems like a good place to be doing training. Yes, indeed. Presumably, so that would suggest that they might be killing things here, because that would be diffusing Technos into the area. It would. Uh, 
Uh, additionally, that's a <coughs> one, that's one possibility. Doesn't yeah. mean that's what's happening. Right. Additionally, you would know that <coughs> prolonged exposure in this area to food and the like, like eating the local yes. flora and fauna uh, would have <coughs> some kind of an effect on the consumer, and likely make them bigger or stronger. Or I would say like that. it. Would I know that to be a positive thing or a outright um, negative thing? It wouldn't be that. Well, it's not. It's or is it's, it just random? Neutral. <coughs> it's, it's, it's just an effect of, of eating. It that. it could be good or it could be bad though. Yeah, could I mean it could be used for bad. Well, just I mean, like, as a person who's living there, do they have to look out? Mm, no, they I mean, wouldn't. a person that's a, a person or creature that's living there. There's nothing there negative that isn't. It filled with the overgrowth technos stuff. Yeah. So there's no way around it. If, yeah. If if you stay uh, here. Uh, right. Unless you bring non forest based food with you, then at some point you'll be consuming something that can <coughs> something technos. Like my spell I'll get later on. Technos? Well no, that that's what healing potions are. Oh, I mean so that's so okay. Technos isn't everything. But it's just a matter of it, it affects things differently depending on how it's formed. Mm. So, uh, for example, this stuff might have uh, growth hormones in it. <laughs> Basically, yes. I got you. I got so you. So kind of like Mary and Pippin with the treant nectar that that they drank that made them taller. You know, made them grow like four inches or whatever. To make them gigantic halflings. <laughs> and to normal sized people. Well, yeah. They didn't get that. Well, but. no, then, yeah, four or five inches, that wouldn't even make them normal size. Yeah. So, <coughs> you know, and the, the, the length of time that that sort of thing would affect you is, pretty long. is dependent upon how long you've been there and how long you've been consuming things. Eventually, it just becomes like. But that takes a little bit of time. Uh-huh. Like if just, we need to eat that shit. It's stale. We sell that shit. If you just have like an apple from one of the trees there, that's not going to do much anything. Then, like, you might get it. You know, for an hour, you might be bigger. But if we you know, lived here for a month, things might be a little different. Things might take like it might take a week for it to get out of your system. Yeah. You know? So it just depends on. There are lots of factors involved. Huh. We need to study these plants and synthesize the active ingredient. <laughs> It's just like growth-based technos. That's all it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, I mean, druids essentially can do that with their magic. Yeah, you know, they have a uh, like druids have a spell with well, buffs that allow <coughs> them to like supernaturally buff like farmland and stuff. And if they if they cast it for a long enough time period, it can be a huge oh. area. That and it makes it very where, fertile where, good like, ground. Yeah, it makes it very fertile. It like doubles the crop yield and stuff like that. So we'll see if, if any of that comes into play. <coughs> right? um, that's what they could be doing there too. They could be gathering supplies to Do beef them up when they go fight dragons. monsters and oh. stuff. And it, like that. it could be any number of things. That's actually kind of a two birds one stone thing. Too, because if you're killing creatures to take with you, to get their juiciness, mm-hmm. uh, then that also will release some of their energy back to the veil. Yeah. Also, we don't have a bag of colding yet. I have a bag of holding. Bag of colding. A bag of. Oh. It's a joke, but a, yeah. a bag of holding that's fr- frozen on the inside so it means mm-hmm. don't spoil. Oh. A yeah. bag of colding. We need to get a mini fridge when we put it in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> this is a great place to call this. Got a, you've got a lot of stuff to think about. Yep, and, and talk about we'll with talk our about party. Party. So we will. I'll get the uh, insert baddie here thing for <laughs> you. I'll tell everyone next session what whatever that is, and uh, we will see you in a week. Sweet. Bye. What? Bye bye. You're so happy. Yay, you're so good. Bye.